All right, folks. Uh, we back to the first system where we put in, and I think these guy is really happy with this system. So one system is shutting down. We bring in the new panels, add them up into this system. Here we go. As we speak, uh, we bring in about 547. 547, 542 watt. We're bringing in right now. This is the one of one of the uh, inverter one. Here is inverter two. It's bringing 492. Look at uh, 341 kilowatt of power already created. Since the time it's installed, we already make 1.6 kilowatt. And right there, this is the third one. It's bring. It already made about. It's making 465 watts, and uh, you guys can see exactly how much this system was already created. Pretty soon, it's coming there. It's coming. See that? 434 kilowatt hours since the day one the system was installed. Here is the other one. You guys can take a look quick. There we go. Look at that. 314 1,005 1,058 kilowatt all right we're doing good all right gotta take you guys out there and see give you a quick glance of the system oh it's gonna fall yeah, that's the system right there. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, that's how it looks like. This is one of the arrays. The panels we're gonna be putting back in here. It's just gonna be identical. It's the same like this ones. And that's a 1280 right there. And this array is already out. And you guys can see, the new panel is going to be going down there. And there's my guy over there taking care of the screws and bolts. Yeah, you can see this, the other array here. It's about 1282. It's a, here. This is for the um, winter time. The sun is low. And uh, especially when uh, the sun is going down. Folks, it's kind of windy up here, it's cold, but we are still working and trying to make this, uh, you know, the best we can do. And you guys seen the power the system was bringing. You know, the wires, the railings, uh, super strut. That panel is gonna be out and replacing it with uh, these panels right here. Remember this place, folks? It was the beauty place you guys can see on summertime. Look how dry the trees. We've got the house over there. And uh, it's just a nice place, great place for wind turbine. It might be uh, the, uh, the other generation that's gonna be here. It's just awesome. All fields. There's a sun, it's hazy, nothing that fancy at all but the system was pushing in more than what over 15 1500 watt coming in on this kind of weather so folks this is just uh for some people it's not the best time to do this um but true minnesota can do that it's the guy right there working on the stuff, taking all those panels. And 
this is how we're working right now and you guys gonna be see the other edition of the installation as uh, everything goes well all right folks thanks it's kind of tough working with gloves huh yeah this is the system so you want to say anything special to these people how this system has been working for you it's a tough winter Not much to say, you know, you guys can already heard from the man with the system, he's really happy with it. And now we're going to be doing some upgrade updates here. We're going to be pushing some power. It's over um, 15, 1600 watts coming in earlier in the house. So one of the string inverters is already disconnected and uh, the two are still pumping, which is this one right now, the sun is... Uh, this direction I can pan again and show you which is not even sun it's just a hazy or something look at that look how weird it is on the camera and he's hitting this uh, other four panels down here and these two are still getting but they they're really dirty they need some TLC yeah but uh, that's gonna happen uh, maybe in spring some people you know, for you guys normally say the rain can wash the panels. Well, sometimes. You guys remember that spot, right? Nice garden. And uh, one of my subscribers was telling me that he likes the pool over there. So the pool is already out. There's a water storage tank. And the garden was there. The chickens are over there. And guys, this is the place. Now I can even see to the highway. Summertime, I can't see that. It's all covered with leaves. If you can see guys all the way up there, is an attic fan, takes the hot hair from the house. There's a little solar panel that I think it's about 10 watts or 20 watts. I, I, I think it's about 10 watts. You guys can see right there. That's how he started. He get inspired with that little thing, taking all uh, the heat from the attic and that cuts down his electricity, You're taking the heat out. Uh, an extractor so yeah, you guys can see all the fancy stuff over there the waterfall and well I'm gonna wrap up this video my hands are all getting frozen I have to let you guys go and stay tuned and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible yeah the other panels so you guys can see so the one uh, railing is already out and uh, it's just too exciting uh, doing projects like this on winter time. It doesn't even stop us to do whatever we want to do because uh, this is how we are programmed or we are designed <laughs> to live down here. I don't know if I use the right word, but it's okay. Yeah, it's not like we are programmed like robots or something, but yeah, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is just awesome, awesome day to do this kind of project well you guys that rely on uh, how the rain is gonna wash your solar panels trust me it's not happening see like residue or whatever you call them when the rain is draining the water stop right there look all spot and all dusty and it lives very close to a farm here and you know the wind they're dirty you know but what can you do you can't climb up here when the time to do this yeah see uh, you guys can see at the end right there it's just uh, they are dirty but they're still making power if this one has some shower today it would be nice for them cranking up those amps again and, and what live from Minnesota here St. Croix Trail, uh, JW Solar USA. And take care. This is beautiful. Yeah. Please subscribe, like, and share. 
stay tuned for more projects coming this summer here and uh, probably overseas and you guys can see some project here how JW Solar USA is taking care of business right here in Minnesota okay love you guys all take care have a nice day I think you have to bring tape, so. Thirty-nine. So we got to make up uh, seven inches, three and a half inches on either side to make it work this way. Or the length, or the width. These are these panels. Panels are 30. 39. 39. Yeah. So that puts them about 38 and a half. <clears throat> and we gotta make up 46 inches of distance. So I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to uh Alright folks, these are the other YouTubers, this is the other set right here. We need uh, three more panels to sit on this side. You know, no, two more panels to be on this side. You know, to complete this blank. You guys can go back to the videos. Installing uh, solar panels on a rooftop, on a steel rooftop. You guys can see the video I'm talking about right here. Is the ladder and uh, these are the panels. Look how beautiful they are monocrystalline solar panels. Okay, we're doing more upgrade, modify, improve. This guy is gonna be down here. Guys, the other side. You guys can see this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna set up another ray. So one of those uh super strut uh is ten inches, ten foot long each. So so we have to put that vertical that we can able to get all the um uh three panels fit on one. On, ten, on a 10 foot unistrut pin. So, there is a place again, and I hope you guys remember this place. And uh, it's just, it's too cold, but well, we're doing our thing here. Okay? Thank you. Catch you in the next video.